Here are 16 really cool balloons facts you may not have heard of. Contrary to what is still popular belief in my comment sections, the unstable concoction no longer scales with the HP of the Moabs. The blimps coated with the concoction will cause an explosion once it is destroyed that deals a set amount of damage as can be seen in this table. And one more thing is that the alchemist can actually throw this unstable concoction with a range that is 50% larger than the visible attacking range. When you place a tower on frozen water and then sell the ice monkey, the tower on the water will disappear. But there is an exception to this, and I'm not talking about the Sun Temple. What I mean is that there's a way to work around this. Check this out. Unencrypted, you can't place a village here, but if we freeze the water, we can. But we can also sell the Ice Monkey and keep the village. What I think is going on here is that when you place a tower, the entire footprint of the tower needs to be on land or frozen water. But once the ice tower is sold, the game just checks to make sure that the center point of the footprint is on land, and thus allowing you to keep the tower. This can allow you to fit more towers on the map, and also to place towers where they normally would not fit at all. When upgrading the ace to the sky shredder, it suddenly gains the ability to pop lead balloons, and the boomerang monkey can pop camo balloons with the orbiting glaives of the top path tier 5 upgrade. It's possible to make the ray of doom shoot through walls. The Ray of Doom can already shoot through some obstacles, but not all of them. What you need to do is place the Dartling Gunner close to the obstacle and then upgrade it into the Ray of Doom, and then if the obstacle is thin enough, the Ray of Doom will stick through and thus the beam will go through. Another opportunity for a challenge. The Monkey Wall Street picks up both bananas from other farms and traps from engineers, so you don't have to. The Monkey Wall Street used to have the same range as a normal banana farm and picked up items outside of its range, but now the range has been increased so that it is the same radius that it picks up items from. The Middle Path sub shoots darts from the front of the submarine, but also missiles that get shot straight up into the air, and thus it can hit targets despite being totally blocked off by obstacles. You can stack Sun Temple discounts. Sacrificing over 1k gives you a 10% discount, and sacrificing over 15k gives you a 20% discount, and these stack if you have one of each. And pair this with also upgrading one of them into a true sun god with max support sacrifices and you will get some crazy discounts. Speaking of temples, since they can be placed on frozen water and stay there after the water has been unfrozen, you can do some pretty funky things on Flooded Valley. Placing a sun temple or sun god and then submerging the valley in water does not sell the tower but instead submerges them in water and they keep working the way they normally would. Alchemists can actually throw their potions through walls, which allows you to place it where it doesn't take up any important space but it still does the job it's supposed to do. The tag shooter should always be placed under the track instead of above it since the origin of the tags is a bit higher up on the tower so you will use more of the tags this way. There is a really scary hidden monster on the new expert map Dark Dungeons. Hello. If you have the money, you can sell and rebuy Isili and her levels to have more than one hex active at once, as I discovered in a video researching heroes for late game a while back. But unfortunately, this is not as strong as it first seemed to be, since a normal hex can destroy 1.25 bads because once the first bad is destroyed, the hex moves on to the next one. But this does not happen if you have sold the Sealy, so each hex can only destroy one bad. Perhaps another opportunity for a challenge. The top path tier 5 upgrade of the wizard, the Archmage, gains the bottom path shimmer upgrade that periodically removes camo from balloons within its range. And the first top path upgrade causes every attack to be able to go through any obstacle. But if you don't have that ability, there's another trick you can do. Using a middle path ice monkey to freeze the water, we can stack portable lakes on top of each other until they stack so high that a tower placed here can see over everything. In chimps mode, every way of increasing the amount of money that you make is disabled, except for one that I recently made a more in-depth video about, and that is the increased income from the balloons popped within the range of a temple that has more than 4k in support sacrifices, and this stacks with more temples. And the most important fact of them all, Pausing the game supposedly freezes time in the Monkey Blues universe, but I have proof they've been playing us all for fools. They blink, goddammit! So that's 16 Bloons facts you may not have heard about before. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe if you want to learn more about this awesome game.